Hello, 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 hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from whichever part of the world you are in. Welcome, welcome back to Adonai's kingdom. The kingdom, the channel we talk about the most high God, the goodness of the kingdom, and the warnings that we are being given every single day. My name is Awaudi, the messenger, and... Uh, Let's start with a word of prayer. Father, Lord, I want to thank you and bless you for this wonderful, magnificent day. Thank you for the sun, for the goodness. Thank you for your mercy and your joy. Holy Spirit of God, use me as an oracle of your word. Bless each and every member, whoever is here, whoever is listening, whoever is watching. Bless them mightily and let them open their minds to your word and use me use me lord properly to reach your people in jesus name amen and amen well yeah this is it again in the field just trying to catch a glimpse of the sun feel the little bit of the heat and we crack on as usual yes it's Adonai's kingdom, and we talk about the Most High God, and that's it. We only know about Jesus Christ, crucified, died, resurrected, and is seated on the right hand of the Father. So welcome, guys, and straight to the message. Today we are going straight to the book. You know, there's a book that usually most people ignore. And it's Jude, the general epistle of Jude. Jude is just before Revelation and after John. And it's the it's after the third epistle of John. So Jude is just one, one chapter, but with 25 verses. But we'll just go for the first 10 verses and see what the Spirit says to the churches of the world this is the holy spirit talking to the churches of the world it's not about the old time it's now the in our generation and let's dive to it and the title is warning it's a warning on false teachers warning on false teachers and it starts like this jude the servant of jesus christ and brother of James to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ. Jude, according to research, they say that it's short of Judas, but they didn't want to put the name Judas. It could bring confusion because whenever they put Judas, they'll be th everyone will be thinking of the one who sold jesus so the best thing was put the jude and you know jude was a half brother of uh, yeshua is a relative of jesus but he humbles himself here to our lord you see he starts with the the word jude the servant of jesus not the brother i can imagine uh in our world today what happens when somebody goes to introduce himself or he introduces himself to some uh, to people to somebody else he's like my my name is maybe john my name is joseph my name is ping um, ronaldo anything i'm a brother or a sister to so and so the famous person brother and instead of being yourself i think the best thing that we can be doing is just say my name is eddie i'm Waudi the messenger i'm a child of god you are you we give prominence to the most high so you see here jude says he's a servant of jesus christ he didn't say he's a blood brother or a half i mean half brother to jesus 
and he says mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied so notice here mercy peace and love be multiplied but in paul's book mostly paul will say grace and peace unto you in most of uh, in all his books but this one it seems that there's a serious message coming a tough message coming from the most high god and he's sending jude to pass, pass it over to his church that that's why we need mercy to be multiplied in our lives because of the things that he is about to say so already he's tell he's telling us we need mercy multiplication of mercies and peace and love cause there is a subtraction of that in our life's life right now so the christians required even that time they required great mercy and he carries on saying beloved when i gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend to the faith which was once delivered unto the saints people are dropping out of the faith we are looking for the things whereby we will gain the moment people gain faith is pushed backwards and then you move forward the love of god is pushed backwards we look for new things that the new technologies that are coming so he's saying here it was need for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should honestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before old ordained to this condemnation there were certain men and even today there are those certain men they are still there they've come in through side doors they mixed themselves with the christians they are with us but they are not for you they are not for us because they've got their own evil desires and that's how satan does the enemy is always camouflaging his, himself knowing that we are going to do something we are going to destroy them from inside not from outside let's he says ungodly men turning the grace of our god into lasciviousness and denying the only lord god and our lord jesus christ you see turning the grace of god what's happening to us today nowadays we are turning the grace of god into lasciviousness and the meaning of lasciviousness is the sexual desire it's a sexual desire that so much into man that people forget about god denying the only lord our lord jesus christ i will therefore put you in remembrance though you once knew this how that the lord having saved people out of the land of egypt afterward destroyed them that believed not so in verse 6 he continues saying and the angels which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation you know there's common salvation saved to the community and we should be there for each other when somebody goes astray and then he says that the angels kept not their first estate that is the first i mean the first uh, love the angels did not keep their first love let me just finish this uh, verse 6 but left their own habitation he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness into the judgment of the great day the first salvation your first love do you remember remember the first time you saw that your life was a mess and you decided to follow jesus you decided to do the things of the lord i mean you are dreaming jesus thinking jesus everything is jesus and then when the, when your doors started opening up and that's how we are we are so wicked the moment we are just blessed a little bit people tend to 
ignore Jesus. Just a little blessing. And we should put that in mind because if that's just a little blessing, what if, what if he blesses you more than enough? What will you, because he's just given you just, it's a drop in the ocean that he's giving you and you're misbehaving and you don't know what's ahead waiting for you, the blessings that are waiting for you. So just stick to your first love. You see these angels, the first time they lost that love. That's when you, it's in uh, Genesis chapter 6 and verse 2. They did not keep their first love. They had sexual rebellious, sexual union with rebellious angelic beings. They were sons of God. You see, in Genesis chapter 6 verse 2, they are saying that they were close they were so close into the sexual thing when they i mean the angels who uh, opposed god they were thrown out of the kingdom they came down and then they saw daughters of men and they saw they were good so they had sexual intercourses with them bringing up children this is what jude is saying in uh, verse 6 the, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness into the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the visions of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, does not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. Yeah, whenever anything happens, you when you see the enemy is trying to fight you so much, just cry unto the Lord. Just tell them, may the Lord rebuke thee on a serious note. And be serious with that. And the Lord will come and rebuke him or her, whoever is trying to torment you. So, yet, uh, but this speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts in these things, they corrupt themselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's up to verse 10. So, you see, what they mean, we mean here, what Jude is trying to tell us, in between us, we have teachers who have, they've come in into the kingdom through the side doors, they've covered themselves with holy, let holy in quotes, holy raiment, covering their heads, Say, saying Jesus is Lord, but they are not for you. They are there for their own gain. The only thing I can advise you guys, just believe and believe in the Holy Spirit. Let them, let him help you to discern the false teachers, the fake teachers from the people who are really after God's heart. And for me, that's what I do and I will always do. I listen to everyone. But I sort them out later on. I sort the teachings and see, is it for the kingdom of or for, for man? In Yeshua's mighty name, amen. If you are here, you've heard about Christians. You hear about us talking about the Most High God and you, you don't know. You just want to be part and parcel of the kingdom. You want to be a child of God. Say this prayer after me. Father, Lord, I come before you as a sinner. Cleanse me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. And on the third day, he rose again and he seated on the right hand of you, O Father. Accept me in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that, if you've done that, join a church near you. And also get a Bible. King James Version. Start reading it slowly by slowly. You'll never, ever 
regret. And also in the church you'll get brothers and sisters who walk the way, the way of the Lord. They'll guide you. They'll be with you always, in all times. In Jesus' name. And Father, I pray for my viewers, each and every one of them. Bless them mightily. Protect them. Let them know. Let them discern the real teachers, the real prophets from the fake teachers and prophets here in our in our generation. Let them know that be, let them know how to trust in the Holy Spirit. The still small voice advising them, guiding them. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, guys, see you next time. And may the Holy One of Israel bless you mightily. Shalom. Peace.